Well, in, in closing, I want to, you know, obviously the, the nature of the panel is to bring up these myths, discuss them, and break them. But really, what it's intended then eventually to do is for, for folks to understand them and go dispel those, you know, get, go get rid of those myths in society. And I want to point out that our, that our website, uh, you know, stopthedrugwar.org, we produce the world's leading drug policy newsletter, The Drug War Chronicle. And, you know, it's both international and national digest of news and events and even, you know, everything going on in your state and whatnot. But it's a great way to, to dispel those myths because we wouldn't promote those. It, and so if you have websites out there, don't just take a feed of, of drug, drug uh, you know, information coming from, from various news sources and have that feed your site. Actually, take your feed from, from our site because we simply scrutinize those stories a lot more heavily and you're not, you're not going to get a bad story like that that will continue to spread those myths. But what's more is that, you know, come to our, come to our speakeasy, which is a, a huge blog site. People are talking about these different issues. And when you know better, stand up for it. Defend it. You know, make sure that, that you're not spreading that. I'm glad, I'm glad you're hearing you have learned about it. But I really think that's the key. There are certain myths, I'll tell you, that we're not going to be able to overnight or even perhaps even in 10 or 20 years or ever get rid of. This, this The gateway one is just so pervasive. You know, it's just it's something that people want to believe. Maybe what we always talk about that in drug policy reform, there are 30% of people that we're never going to reach. They are adamantly against our positions. They feel it's, it's coming from a moral base. It's just you're not going to reach them. And so they're always going to be spewing that kind of crap. And there are going to be the kind of people that are with the Drug you know, Free America Foundation and the, the kind of conservative thought. Maybe we can all carry little laminated copies of various studies. Mm -hmm. But but, but if you see that kind of reporting, you know, in your local, you know, or state state level, uh, you know, newspapers, write a letter to the editor, dispel that myth, take the time because it, it's so important that you do that. And uh, you know, we also have a prohibition in media section to our website that please do frequent and, and, and add things to it. When you see someone saying something incorrect, point that out. Let people know so that so they can read about it too and comment on it. Uh, it's really all about knowledge. You're educated now. I am so you're going to continue to spread the truth. Thank you very much, David. David Gard, StopTheDrugWar.org. Doug. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you, sir. Busting myths and also establishing realities. One of the biggest myths and one of the biggest realities is one that we ourselves perpetrate, and that's that somehow merely ending prohibition is all that we need to do. Because it's not. It's not enough. It doesn't mean anything. We could end all the drug laws now. It wouldn't change a lot. Because we'd still have racially biased law enforcement. We'd still have horrible social inequities. We'd still have massive, massive differences in access to health care, to education, to social capital, to economic capital, and to every other thing because of the horribly ingrained racist and classist attitudes that we still have in this country. It's an awful, awful truth. But that's the other part of busting reality, of busting myths, is putting forth the reality. We're busting reality. It's exactly. Yeah, it's time to bust reality. reality under arrest. Exactly. Well, I haven't bust watched it, it for a while now. Well, at least going to break it down. That is what it's about. Legalization of pot is actually an essential, I think, in this. One of the things that I use pot for is a way to focus my passions and control my rages and to understand and distinguish between those two. I'm a social justice activist. I do what I do because I believe in a lot of very basic things about freedom and personal responsibility and about equality and all that kind of stuff. That's why I do drug policy reform, because we're the bastard child of the social justice movement. And this, again, is the reality. The myth, the myth is that it's all about the party, it's about fun. You know, hey, I love to smoke pot. I love to have 